Hello, everybody. Welcome to IST 110. I'm, of course, Professor S, and this is today's lecture. It's kind of a quick one because I gave students a lot of time to work on their group project, but there was an update to the group project, so I wanted to make sure I covered it, especially for the video. Anyways, let's talk about what's going on with the group project. So anyways, uh, the video is due today or, um, for class that when this class was scheduled. Anyways, um, on Monday, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the video is due, and then it has a late policy of 24 hours. So on Tuesday, it it is due at 11.59 p.m. Um, so you have that 24-hour late period. You're not going to get full credit, but you will get most credit. Okay? Uh, so just keep that in mind. Also, make sure you do peer evaluations. They're due um, uh, on Tuesday, and then there's also that late period as well. Um, make sure you rate everyone in your group. And just as a reminder, your grade is based upon three things. Uh, if you submitted things on time and you, how well you rated yourself and then how well everybody rated you. And it's that different breakdown. So if you're giving yourself full score and you notice you're not getting a full 100%, it's because your group members didn't rate you as high as you did. Uh, all right, final report. So the next and the last deliverable for the pro the the project is the final report, um, and it's going to include a lot of the same things. Actually, you know what? Let's kind of go into what's in this report, and then I'll go back to that slide. So I'm kind of doing things a little different than I did during the live lecture. So, anyways, in this final report, you're discussing the theme of your video, overview of the group process, uh, who did what what roles you're essentially what you're talking about is the report is a reflection on the video, right? The video you do the work to report on this new thing. And the, um, the report is the reflection and the citation of the different things that you found. Okay. So make sure you, um, so with that said, this is all stuff that you can find on canvas. A couple of things is that it says description, uh, of resource, it says description of resources, um, but like what that means is just your use of them. You, you talk about them in the document, like how do you use your doc, your resources, which um, make sure you're citing when you're using the sources, that sort of thing. But I don't need description of each resource used in your reference uh, thing. Um, but again, like the whole point of this is the reflection on the process. So. I keep emphasizing this. Hopefully it's not going to be an issue. Make sure you're including in-text in citations. The idea is, is like you're making references, whether it's in your script or in your report um, or outside of the script. Um, but the idea is, is it's in, um, it's not just good enough to just say, hey, I use information and this is where I find it. I need to know when you use information. Like, was this your information? Was this somebody else's? I, I just need to know, right? It's part of uh, good in, uh, doing good research. Um, and like I said before, make sure you include the script for your video, include references, where you got the information, where you got pictures from, um, and include a section of contributors to the video. So make sure at the bottom, whether it's before, right before the references or after, include who worked on the video uh, and who didn't, and then also who worked on the final report and who didn't. This is not necessarily to penalize those that didn't work. It's to make sure that the um, uh, work is, that the people that did the work are, um, being rewarded for their work. It's um, because the thing is, is when you give people credit for not doing or for doing work when they didn't do work, is that you're saying that the uh, people that didn't do work should get the same grade as those that did lots of work. That doesn't seem fair to me. And so that's why I emphasize, I, I, I take that into consideration. I've done that with a few of the assignments so far. Um, and so just make sure you include who's not working um, and who is. So um, also make sure that if you are working on these projects that your name gets on both of these lists. Okay. I don't want, I also don't want people that are working on it that um, to not get credit for it. That's another thing that I really don't want. It's just 
making sure like there's equity for the people that put the effort in. All right, anyways, it's eight to 12 pages. References don't count as that. And again, I can't emphasize this enough, even though it kind of looks like I'm looking for references in or description of the references, I'm not. So don't include the description of the references uh, in the references. Just put the references in the alphabetical order. Remember, this is APA, and I think that's good for today. We'll pick up on the rest of the content uh, from Zybooks on Wednesday, and then we will um, continue on um, picking the quiz. So anyways, I think that's good for now. I will see you all Wednesday. Bye. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please press the like button that lets me know I'm doing something right. If you have any questions about any of the content, please send an email through Canvas to me and the rest of the teaching team and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Do not send it through normal email, you will not get as fast response. These are COVID times, so it could take a little bit, but we will get back to you, I promise. Anyways, if you have any suggestions for how I can make these videos better, please leave in the comments below. Don't forget to roundhouse kick the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for when I post the next video. Anyway, I think that's good for now. I'll see you all next class.